Hey, it's Bill DeWeese from voice-over-training.org. I hope you are doing well, and I hope you've got big plans for this upcoming Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I'm very thankful that it's Friday, and I'm thankful for a great week of voiceovers. I mean, just a lot of work, but I tell you what, I am physically worn out. I just took some ibuprofen because my, my throat is hurting. Um, from doing some some long-form narration that I've been working really hard on all week. So I'm ready for a few days off, as I'm sure you are as well. I want to talk to you about something today that, that came up in a conversation with a voiceover talent that I was consulting yesterday, and I thought, you know, this this is really good information that I think I tend to take for granted and that there might be those, and perhaps you're, you're one of those, that it's it's a missing a missing element. Maybe it's the missing key in your marketing strategy and as simple as it may sound, I don't want to overlook this because this might just be the the one thing that you need to know to help you get back on track with your marketing plans. And that is make sure you put the voiceover, the voiceover horse before the voiceover cart. Let me explain. Um, this gentleman, uh, he's from Atlanta, and I was consulting with him yesterday, and, and a talented, talented guy and uh, really trying to, to launch and start a voiceover business. And he was sharing with me the different methods of strategies he was using to, to market to try to grow his business. And he said, I'm frustrated because he said, nothing's happening. And so I said, well, let me ask you this. I said, do you have your voiceover demo? And do you have a website for your voiceover business? And he said, no, I don't. And therein lies the problem. Um, and I think that there are many people probably in the same boat who are trying to, before they spend the money on the demo on the website, and understandably so, trying to generate some business, get a little cash flow going. But if you have not yet put together, number one, your demo, and number two, your website in that order, uh, then your your marketing efforts are going to be fruitless or, or, or uh, very minimally uh, yielding any fruit at all, using the uh, fruit analogy there. Um, you've got to have those two marketing tools. And the way I explained it to, to, to him was that it's like it's like going fishing without a fishing pole and bait. And if you don't have the pole and you don't have the bait, if you don't have the right tools, it makes your job almost impossible. The demo is your calling card. That is what prospective clients will hear and oftentimes make a judgment on whether even a lot, even allowing you to do a, uh, a custom demo for them. So you need to have a demo. And the website is where you want to send them so that it builds your credibility and it's kind of the framework in which they can listen to your website. It is your own place. It says, I have staked my claim. I am serious about this. This is not a hobby for me. This is a profession for me. Now. I know many people are using a pay-for-play pay site as their website, such as a voice123.com or voices.com um, or something similar. And there's nothing wrong with having, you know, being a member and having your, your, your demos up there. But I really think it's a mistake to use that as your voiceover website because, for one thing, it shows that you haven't made the investment in your own site. And again, it's a credibility builder. When you have your own website and it's properly done, it says, I am here. I am professional. This is what I do for a living. Even if you don't do it yet for a living, it says that's it shows that that's your intent and it builds credibility. And what it doesn't do, it doesn't take them to a place where they can very easily then listen to 10 or 50,000 other voiceover talent. That's one of the things I really dislike about using those kind of a pay for play website as being your primary website because it makes it way too easy for somebody then to say, oh, look, if I click here, I can listen to thousands and thousands and thousands of, of other voiceover talent. And then before long, they may have completely forgotten about you as they're out shopping, you know, the world of, uh, of voiceovers. So again, get your demo done, get a killer demo done, and then get a really well-created professional website produced. Once you have the, and I know those things cost some money, but you know what? The truth is when you go in business, you have to spend money up front. There's almost no way to get around that. But once you have those two tools, you are ready to go to work and to market yourself. And it sends an instant message of credibility, and you've got your calling card, your voiceover demo, for your prospective client to listen to you, which takes them a big step forward in hiring you for their next job. Wish you all the best in your voiceover business. If you have any questions or comments or, or things that you think I should address in upcoming videos, please drop me an email. I'd love to hear from you at voiceoverexpert at gmail.com. And again, I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend, and I look forward to talking to you real soon.